I was initially a little disappointed with the touch bar. It was nice to slap my fingers on it, but as time went on, I used it less and less. I was scrolling around Reddit when I saw somebody mention Better Touch Tool. It's a game changer, they said. Turns out it's an amazing application that allows for near limitless customization of the touch bar. Seriously, you can do just about anything you want. I even wrote a script that displays my current subscriber count on the touch bar. There's a huge community that shares their presets, so I downloaded the most popular Golden Chaos and edited it to my liking. It's a little overwhelming at first, but once you learn the program, the setup is a pretty easy process. On my global touch bar settings, I have the app switcher on the left. This allows me to tap a currently open application and bring it to the front. This is already possible by hitting command tab, but I found that it's slightly faster to tap the touch bar and I find it aesthetically pleasing. On the right, we get dedicated volume and screen brightness buttons, the time, and the current weather with a nice little icon. You can long press these keys to open up some extra settings. The most useful section to me has definitely been the weather. It's such a nice feature to be able to glance at the temperature before I head out and do a long press to check for the rest of the week. Once music or video starts playing, the media controls pop up in the middle giving you the title of the song or video. You can long press to get all the nice features of Apple Music or Spotify. This also works with your web browser providing info on the video you're watching. Another neat feature is that you can turn on the haptic feedback when you press the touch bar. I was kind of blown away when I saw this setting and I was even more surprised that it actually works really well. The feedback is done through the trackpad but it's still super satisfying and functionally allows you to know that you've touched a button. You can also set two finger, three finger, or even four finger sliders on the touch bar. I have mine set to adjust the volume and brightness for quick adjustments. And this is just my global settings. There's a whole host of other settings that open up by holding control, option, and command. I have mine set for resizing windows, some system preference settings, and emojis. Now let's talk about what I think is the coolest part about this app. You can basically write a script for whatever you want. I was able to write a script in Python to grab my current subscriber count and display it on the touch bar. For this, I used Beautiful Soup 4 to import the HTML of my Social Blade page. And from there, I isolated the text associated with my subscriber count and, and output that text. I have it set to update every 60 seconds, so it doesn't use too much battery running all the time. I also have it set to bring me to my analytics page when I press the button. There's just so much more that you could do. The potential is crazy. If you would like an in-depth tutorial on how to set this up for your own touch bar and YouTube channel, let me know in the comments below. Better Touch Tool lets you have a generous 45 day trial, and then you can purchase a two year license at $7.50 which means you'll get two years worth of upgrades and then you're stuck on the last version you downloaded. Or for $21, you could get a lifetime license. In my opinion, this is a totally reasonable price considering you get window snapping and a whole heap of other stuff that you can do that is far too long for just this video. And I will definitely be making the purchase. This application has made me enjoy the touch bar. It's still not perfect, but has made the experience a whole lot more enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you disliked it, give it a dislike. Make sure to drop a comment down below telling me what I could have done better or what you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos just like these. Thanks for watching. Peace.